Now let's look at some examples of how these metrics, session count, session length, and retention, can really affect monetization in games. First, let's consider a straightforward example of a game that uses ads to make money. Now, ads might not make the most money, which we'll get into later, but their success does depend on how often and how long users play your game. Because each time an ad is displayed in the game, it makes a small amount of money for the developer. And when there are a lot of sessions, so the session count is high, there will be a lot of opportunities to display an ad. Similarly, when a session is long, ads might be displayed multiple times in one session. So both of these result in more ads being displayed. And more ads mean more money. And retention looks at these effects over a longer period of time. Say your app launches and people are excited about it. There's a lot of sessions, but then after a week or so, people start to get bored with it, and the number of players and sessions drops over time. And when the number of sessions drop, so does the amount of money the game makes. So high retention is important for monetization because your game will only make money over time if you retain a steady number of players. Retention is especially important if your game is planning on selling items in the game over time. These items are called in-app purchases and include things like power-ups or special game equipment that players can buy and then use in the game. And you want these sales to be pretty consistent over time so that you continue to make money.